Hello guys, welcome to a tutorial on Armor 3 Eden Editor. Today I'm just going to be going over the basics, and I'm just going to show you how to move around, how to use the map, placing units and objects, placing compositions, and then finally playing the scenario. So first you want to go from your main menu, you want to press Editor, and then you want to pick the map that you want to edit on. Uh, today I'm just going to be going over Stratus. Once you're in the editor, you'll spawn in a random spot. You can hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse to look around. You can press WASD to move your camera and if you hold shift it will speed the camera up. To move up and down you can hold Q to go up or Z to go down and if you click on anything in the editor it won't move any map objects such as trees or things that are already in the map. If you press M you will access the whole map. You can use mouse wheel to scroll in and out and again if you hold down the right mouse button and drag you can move around or you can use WASD to move like this. If you middle mouse click on a certain area on the map it will move your camera to that position so that when we press M again to come out of the map we are now in that spot at Stratus Airspace. Now on to placing objects or units in the editor. On the right hand side as you can see you have this assets tab with a few different options here. Um, under the objects you have a couple different options also you've got blue 4, op 4, independent, civilian and props it's pretty straightforward anything in blue 4 will have a list of every single blue 4 option in the game op 4 again have everything and with DLCs such as contact you've got the Russians you've got CSAP Pacific from Apex you've got all these different drop downs to place a unit you just find the tab that you want to go to, say men, and say I want to place a team leader down. I find the team leader and I can click and drag him out here and as soon as I let go there is the unit. That unit will stay still unless you move it and to move stuff around you hold left mouse button and drag it. If you want to change its direction you can hold down left shift and hold down left down mouse button and anywhere you point and drag it will face and it will stay facing like that until the scenario begins. If you want to place multiple of the same unit just click on one here and hold down left control and then every time you click whilst holding left control it will place down a new unit. If you want to delete anything you can highlight lots of things at once or you can press things individually and just press the delete key. As you may have noticed earlier, when I placed down the team leader and had another unit near him, such as a rifleman, you'll see that blue line between. The reason for that is if I were to place this unit now, they are now grouped. So when they start here on the left tab, they are going to be in Alpha 1 1, they are in the same group. Now, this tab that I mentioned on the left is your Entities tab. It will have everything that you have placed down in your mission. Is listed here. This is a good way to find things if there's something over the other side of the map but you don't want to go all the way over there to click on it. You can find it here and you can also edit anything from here. You can play as the unit uh, or you can actually delete stuff from here. So if you just hover over it and press delete that will get rid of that unit. And that's quite a handy tool like I said if your mission is spread out over different places, different areas of the map and you don't want to keep zooming to and from those places. The next tab along here is the Compositions tab. This has pre-built compositions that you can place down. This is a rifle squad which will come with a few different units. You can also have a weapon squad. There's many things here under the mechanized. You'll have a piece of armor and a unit. That's good if you want to put down lots of different units. If you want to maybe create a squad that someone's going to engage on one of your missions or something like that. You can create your own custom compositions, but we'll go into that later. Just to finish off the basics for the editor, we're going to just play the scenario and see how it works. So if we place down a team leader, if we right click on this team leader, we can play as the character. Or if we click play scenario, it will automatically play as that character as this red circle here indicates that that is the player. In a later video we'll go into how to change attributes and pick what is playable and who is the player. 
But for now, if we just click play scenario, we can see that we spawned in as our team leader in the direction that we were facing and we can move around and shoot and do everything that we'd normally be able to do. By pressing escape and pressing return to editor, it will take us back to our editing view and we can carry on placing units for our mission. Thank you for watching. I'm going to be making more videos in the future to go into more in-depth things in the editor. But until then, I shall see you guys in the next one.